hearing the uproar. The Philistines asked, What's all this shouting in the Hebrew camp? When they learned that the ark of the Lord had come into the camp, the Philistines were afraid. A God has come into the camp. They said, Oh no, nothing like this has happened before. We are doomed. Who will deliver us from the hand of these mighty gods? They are the gods who struck the Egyptians with all kinds of plagues in the wilderness. Be strong, Philistines. Be men, or you will be subject to the Hebrew as they had been to you. Be men and fight. So the Philistines fought, and the Israelites were defeated. And every man fled to his tent. The slaughter was very great. Israel lost 30,000 foot soldiers. The ark of God was captured, and Eli's two sons, Hophni and Phinehas, died. 1 Samuel chapter 4 from verse 6 to 11. Welcome you to today's um, session about uh, on our retreat. And today I want to talk about the obstacles to divine manifestation. Quite often, we have had all, each and every one of us, such, so to speak, have had this experience of feeling God didn't show up. And as we look forward to God showing up for us within the coming year, it is important to see in history and in the scripture things that made men not to have an encounter with the divine now the scripture we have just read tells us about a time when israel was faced with a serious battle around this time Everyone had to hold on to what they, what they knew best was their source of strength. The Philistines didn't panic in the beginning. They believed and they knew very well they could deal with Israel. But suddenly, when there was the Ark of the Covenant that was brought into the picture, wow! The scripture said there was an uproar. There was a loud shout. Everyone could know or could hear rather that there is an appearance of something or someone that has given confidence to the Israelites who were downhearted or depressed about the situation. The most painful part of all the story is this. Is that while the Philistines knew that the Ark of the Covenant was already in the camp, they told themselves, let's not allow us, ourselves to be depressed. Let's not allow ourselves to be frightened. And they encouraged themselves with just one purpose. They said, be strong, be men, or you will be subject to the Hebrews as they have been to you. Slave masters who never want to become slaves. And so what did they say? Or what did they do? They knew very well that if they allowed the Israelites to become winners in this battle, they themselves will be subject to a condition they have subjected the Israelites to for years. And so they were ready to fight. 
that was the motivating factor irrespective of the belief of the Israelite that the Ark of the Covenant will see them through. Dear friends, the sad news about that day was that God didn't show up. God did not manifest himself. The Ark of the Covenant was there, but nothing happened. And it was recorded that the Ark of the Covenant was captured. The Ark of the Covenant was captured. A difference, as I come before you today, let's put ourselves together. Has there been a time where you prayed? And you felt God never showed up. God disappointed you. God failed you. What was the cause? Did you really check in and see where you got it wrong? Already we know that for God not to show up for this, for the nation of Israel here, there was a warning he had sent to the house of Eli to complain about the activities of the sons of Eli and how he was going to deal with them and it seems nothing even changed to show remorse and to show God that they were sorry. That tells you that we must be very careful with our lives. One thing is clear, the enemy also goes around the scripture says, roaring like a roaring lion, seeking for wood to devour. In every situation and every season of our lives, two personalities will always appear. Is that like God is appearing or the devil is also manifesting himself? So we must be careful asking ourselves, who, who is the person that is manifesting himself in my situation? Now, it is clear that one of the obstacles of divine manifestation of God manifesting himself is when we bridge our relationship with God. He will not manifest. The, 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 the scripture says, if I regard iniquity in my heart, the Lord will not, the Lord will not have heard me. That means that any time there is something I have done that bridges my relationship with God and I decide to leave it like that without addressing it with God in the secret place, it means that I could pray, I could shout, but then there will not be manifestation. And that is why you will see even in our uh, even in the mass or a church service, there is always that point, that time where we sincerely ask the Lord for mercy. Trying to bridge the gap between us and God and saying, God, please manifest yourself. If you're the type that prays and never sincerely ask God for mercy for your shortcoming, you will not experience divine manifestation of the heavens. You will rather experience manifestation from the pit of hell that means our shouting and our prayer is not what counts at this time the first thing that counts is our relationship with elohim if we are not working on that we will not experience divine manifestation that is an obstacle and in line to this this is where you see that if god is our source that means divine manifestation is very important through prayerfulness. A prayerless Christian, we used to say, is a powerless Christian. But prayer is a communication between you and God. So check your prayer life. Most, most of the time, a lot of us struggle, whether ministers or lay persons, a lot of us struggle at certain seasons to pray. It's either we became too busy or something happened to us, we are depressed, um, something is going on in our environment that does not permit us to pray. That tells you that the struggle is real for God to manifest himself. Say, I look for a man that will stand in the gap, but I found none. The scripture said in Luke 18, he told his disciples, men ought to pray and not to faint. 
So you, God telling us, if you want God to manifest himself in your life, if you want God to manifest himself in your situation, the, one of the obstacles will be prayerlessness. So you better begin to pray because prayer is communication with God, telling, talking to God, God talking to you. And that's how God gets into your business. That's how God gets into your marriage. That's how God gets into your life. How many people get into your life most of the time? 90% of the time, you have to go and talk to somebody about your problem. That's how they get into the picture. Even if somebody sees you out on the road and says, I want to help you, you will discover that at the end of the day, you still have to communicate to them about your situation. Then they know very well how to handle you, how to get into your situation. So my dear friends, it is very vital to understand that prayerlessness can make God not to appear in our situation. And so you must begin to work on your, your timetable for this year. The next thing that happens is, is faithlessness. Sometimes we don't understand the what made Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego to have this encounter. They had faith in God very strictly. God will still show up. So Nebuchadnezzar, we are not bowing down. God will still show up. Now, one of the things you should know, the scripture says, trust in the Lord with all your heart and do not depend on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge Him and He will direct your path. Having this level of trust in God, knowing that He will show up for you, is a way of inviting God back into our situations. And so don't trust in yourself. Trust in Him who can manifest Himself. Then, one area of life that you must pay attention to, God does not just manifest Himself because we are righteous. He also manifests himself because we are sinners. While we were here sinners, Christ died for us. So God does not just manifest himself for uh, righteous people, holy people. He also manifests himself for people who are failing in their daily walk with God because he came to save the lost. He came for sinners. He came for who are, those who are sick. So divine manifestation has nothing to do with just ah uh, because they are righteous. That is why God is showing up for them. But dear friend, even in your struggle in, uh, in, in with sin and you're struggling with your life, heaven still wants to visit you so that they can change your story. Because how will people know that God is actually a redeemer and a savior if he does not use your case to bring you from sinfulness to holiness? And mind you, all have seen and fallen short of the glory of God. All of us, in one way or the other, keep seeing God appearing to us, manifesting Himself to us, His presence, in order to deliver us from, from everything that is affecting us. At different seasons of your life, as a Christian, as someone who has a mind and heart to follow God, you will discover you're struggling with something around you. The next thing that stops that's an obstacle to divine manifestation is de deliberately refusing to use your gift, not making yourself available. Listen, we talked about gifts as a way of God manifesting himself in our communities, in our families. Take for example, there are no prophets, there are no healers, there are no teachers of the word, there are no there are no there, there, there are no intercessors. One of the things that begin to happen is that the community is devoid of a channel to which God can communicate to them. That is why when a community is rich and blessed with a prophet, a community is rich and blessed with teachers of the word, a community is blessed with people who have the gifts of healing, God manifests himself through those gifts into the community, to the community, even in your family. That is why we must train up ourselves and our children 
to be closer to God and pray that their giftings will be manifested, their gifts will be manifest. Because if it is not manifested, there's going to be trouble. Because their giftings can help situations, can help things around them. So I want to encourage you today to begin to see that sometimes the reason why God has not manifested himself is that we have not allowed ourselves to be used by God. Some of us run away from things that God has called us to do and allow people who have not been called to do anything to sit on the throne and mess up the whole thing for us. And that is why you will see when a, when a, when a man like Jonah will refuse to go to Nineveh, Heaven will want to tell him you have to go there back. Because you have to go there. Because if you don't go there, things will be at stake. That is why when we refuse to become ambassadors of Christ, allow God to use us, other religions, other 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 other, other forces will take over a certain religion a, a certain area. That is why evangelism becomes something that is very strong. And if we believe that Jesus is Lord and Master, then we should also be able to know that at a certain hour of the day, at a certain hour of time. God expects that He wants to manifest Himself. We are the hands of God. We are the legs of God as we say. Because God needs a human person in order to use it, to manifest Himself. The scripture tells us that in a large house there are different vessels of gold or silver. But anybody that makes himself ready Will be used by God. So some of the obstacles, so the, one of the obstacles to divine manifestation is when we allow, decide that I don't want God to use me. Instead of being one that runs after miracle, looking for miracle, you can kneel today and tell God, I want you to use me from today. So that instead of me running around for miracle, I will be a miracle distributor. You will use me to manifest yourself in, in the lives of others and in, my and in my environment. Today, my dear friends, as we come before God for this retreat, I want us to see these angles of our lives. If, next, if this new year is going to be a year of, um, a, a year of divine manifestation, then my dear friend, wake up to it. Wake up to it. And ask yourself, where or which corner of my life or area of my life have I been have I been slacking? Is that why God has not appeared to you? My dear friends, I pray for you as I pray for myself. But may the mercy of God this morning reach out to us. May God manifest himself and show us while we have been there and nobody knows about us, the world does not know about us, may God in His mercy come and appear to us, show us the direction of things and help us to turn around any area of our lives that has kept us from experiencing His presence. I pray that as we go around the course of this day, may God in heaven speak clearly to our minds and, and our hearts and whatever we have left behind, whatever tools we dropped, whatever things we changed, we, 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 we left on, unattended to, may God give us the courage to go back to it so that at the end of the day, we will experience His presence, we will experience His grace and His blessings. My dear friends, may the Lord be with you.